Hey there, Lynn Allen here. Welcome to another draft site tip courtesy of Catalyst Magazine. All right, so the last time we chatted, we talked all about the layers manager, not the layer manager like inside of AutoCAD, and I promised not to charge you for the extra character S. <laughs> we all should feel nice and cozy inside of that dialog box. Um, but today, I'm going to take it one step further and talk about the other layer tools inside of DraftSite because there's some cool tools in there. I want to make sure you are a layer aficionado inside of the land of DraftSite. So here we are in DraftSite. You should feel all nice and cozy in here already. It feels a lot like the land of AutoCAD that you're used to. And here are our layer tools. And you might say then it doesn't feel like there are as many tools as there are inside of AutoCAD. But I want you to know that a lot of them are hiding underneath these arrows. Okay, you'll see like I got one, two, three, four, five tools hiding underneath that one. We don't have the big panel that we drop down like we have inside of AutoCAD. It's one layer up, actually a little bit easier to get to. You just need to know where they are. So let's just kind of peruse these tools. So for example, I have high layer. I have the ability to select any layer and it'll automatically hide that. So it's out of my way. It's a really fast way to get things out of the way while you do some basic edits. And then when you're done, you can come up here and say, show all layers. That's easy enough. I'm not gonna do all of these. Here we have freeze layer, thaw all layers. You can of course also do that from the layers manager. Locking a layer, right? So that you can't edit anything on that layer. You can still see it, but you can't make any changes to it, right? It's locked up. Um, and let's see, we have uh, we have isolate layer. I like that one too. It's, it's That allows me to, to kind of like the opposite of hiding a layer, where if I select a layer, that's the only thing left that I see on the screen. Let's do the same thing that we did before. And now that layer is the only thing that we see on the screen, the opposite of hiding a layer. And then we want to bring it back. We unisolate that layer. So two options for you there. What else have we got going on here? This will take you into the layers manager. We looked at that last time we chatted. And layer preview, what's that? That's like layer walk inside of AutoCAD. So let's take a look at that. Let me zoom out a little bit here so that you can see what's going on. Get a nice good view. And like layer walk, this allows you to basically go through and see what is on each layer. Let's go down here and look at these layers. I think you get the general idea. So you can just see your hatch patterns, just see the green areas and so on and so forth. So instead of having to go into the layer manager and then turn layers, flip them on and off, layer preview allows you to do a nice little step stone through each of the layers, which is nice, right? Nice features there. And I'm gonna go ahead and close that up. What else have we got going on? We have the ability to go into the Layer States Manager. We talked about that last week. You can also do that inside of the Layer Manager dialog box. And then here, I think, is where we get the really cool tools. Activate Layer allows you to set a, a current layer. You can do that a variety of different ways. Change Entities Layer, that's like Match Layer. Let me zoom back in. Let's go back in closer to where we were before just so you can see what's going on. Let's do a little matchy match layer. Let's do a matchy match layer. <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead, select the entity to change. I want to match this object. And then it's gonna ask you to select the destination layer. I'm gonna go ahead and say, I want it to be on the same layer as this object over here. Poof, and now it's on the same layer as that object over there. Okay, I'm good with that. So that's a match layer. Um, restoring layer states. Entity to the active layer, my current layer is a floors. If I select any object, it's gonna automatically make take that object and move it to the a floors layer. And then layer delete, I think you're familiar with that. That is the lay del command inside of AutoCAD and that allows you to delete any layer regardless of what's on that layer. It's a fairly violent command. Be careful what you ask for. All right, I did a quick perusal over the layer tools inside of DraftSite. Hopefully you found that useful. Um, friendly reminder, you can easily download a trial of DraftSite, no credit card needed. You can just download it and check it out for yourself. See if all the tools that you need to be successful are inside of DraftSite. Don't take it from me. What do I know? Only you know. And uh, I hope to see you back here in a few more weeks for another tip about DraftSite. Have a great rest of the day.